Hey everyone, Trevor here with Kelowna b and uh, today what I'm going to do for you guys is uh, there's been lots of questions about our Apple CarPlay and how it works and how you connect your phone and what you can do with CarPlay. So I'm going to kind of give you guys a quick rundown of how to pair your phone and then what CarPlay offers. But uh, again, this is a uh, optional package. It's not standard. It's about a $300 uh, upgrade. Uh, that you can that you can uh, get with your car so so to start us off I'm in the main screen here I'm gonna go to communication and then I'm gonna go to manage mobile device connect new device carplay and then connect Apple carplay and confirm now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to my iPhone here I'm gonna go to my settings my Bluetooth and then I'm gonna scroll down here and uh, wait for it to pop up so there it is it's going to be a different number for each bmw so we're going to click that then it's going to prompt us through some things here so pair on our phone i'm not going to allow my contacts to be synced but usually people allow their contacts for so for now i'm just going to say don't allow and then back on the iDrive screen we're going to hit ok so it's just going to wait for a second here checking the pass key and then um right here so use carplay we want to use carplay so it'll just take a second here so there we go um so now we're in carplay so we'll kind of show you through a couple things that literally mirrors your iphone screen onto your iDrive controller so if we go to phone here we'll go to show contacts up top um and then we're gonna oh we're calling the voicemail we don't want to do that um but we'll show you kind of what it has here so favorites recent so this is recent calls all of your contacts keypad so it looks very very similar to your iphone and then uh so as soon as you hit menu on the uh, controller here it takes you right back to your main screen and then just right on the side you kind of see the carplay thing so there we go but this is your home button similar to your home button on your iphone so we're going to hit that every time we want to go home on carplay so we have your music it is compatible with um, your Apple Music, so it'll have all of your songs on here. You can go through, so songs, everything's on here. So, and then uh, we'll go back to home. Maps, so unfortunately with Maps, it actually uses um, your phone's data, which is kind of a downside to CarPlay. So. Um, as opposed to BMWs just uses the cars uh, data and then if we go to messages here we'll go to show show message um, right here and then we can um, kind of scroll through all of our messages and see what uh, what we sent and we can compose a new message which is what I accidentally did there so then we're going to hit home again and then now playing would be uh, all of uh, what a song would be playing. You got podcast, audiobooks. We can scroll over. It's compatible with WhatsApp as well. Would you like um, to read your messages or compose a new one? So, it's all all to do with Siri with CarPlay. And then whenever you want to put it from uh, CarPlay back to B and W, you can just hit B and W here, and it'll take you right back. And it'll this is you're still connected to uh, your Bluetooth for your phone but uh, we'll go back to carplay for a second um, kind of run you through so we got our home button right down here battery percentage we're using 3g and the time so it's very easy um, like i said before some apps are compatible with carplay lots of people prefer not to use carplay and use uh, bmw systems because uh, it's it's pretty much the same thing and some things are better about bmw stuff so that's kind of a quick rundown folks of carplay hope uh, hope this helped you out